The Legend of the Shepherds. In a bygone age of myths, when darkness threatened to enshroud the world, it was they who reclaimed light from nothingness. Over and over, as the world plunged into chaos, the legend would come to people's lips, and they would for salvation. And lo, each time a shepherd would appear, to vanquish the darkness once more. But with peace returned, it was never long before the shepherds would vanish. As for where they had gone, no one can truly say. And, as with all things, eventually they faded into legend. Now, once again, the world faced the threat of the darkness. And the people began to speak of the shepherds once more. But alas, no shepherd came forth to guide his people to peace. I knew it! A hero brandishing the sacred blade! This mural is a depiction of the shepherd! <laughs> About time I found it! Nothing on my end, Soray. Miklio! Looks like you beat me this time. This proves the Shepherds have been around since even before the era of Asgard. I knew it! Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. We still don't have definitive proof that this ruin itself is pre-Asgard. It could be an imitation. Seriously? You really think they'd make a fake ruin of this scale? Get real. This doesn't bode well. Wait, isn't that... I think our ruin adventure is over for today. Come on! This... Ugh. 
Ah! That was too close. Could I get a little help, please? Saray. That didn't go quite how I planned it, but not too shabby, am I right? Guess this makes us even. Unbelievable. Who knew there'd be ruins underground? Oh, good thing we fell down here. Right. Hey, let's try and find a way out of here. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Whoa! Oh man, what a drop! It's been nothing but heights all day. But I had an awesome bar relief to distract me. Yeah, I bet you did. Hmm? It looks like someone's lying there. Hey, Miklio? Hmm? It's... it's a human. It can't be. Stop. We shouldn't involve ourselves with their kind. She's still alive. We can't just leave her there. Fine. I'll give what help I can. Let's take a look around the area first. Okay. Yeah, My sword's all sticky! Cobwebs everywhere. I bet no one has set foot in here for some time. What's wrong? Shh. There! It's huge! What is this thing? Quick gawking and get your sword ready! Ready? 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 Strike! It's over! Wait, hold on. It can't be a Hellion? A Hellion? For real? I've never seen one in person before. What could a monster like a Hellion be doing in a place like this? It's getting away! Wait, don't you remember what Gramps told us? Huh? Hellions? Yep, Hellions. Horrible monsters that are created by the Malevolence. They can only be defeated by the power of purification, which not but a chosen few can use. So if you ever cross paths with a Hellion, just run as fast as you can! Remember, you two, common folks like us don't stand a chance against those fiends! Cut it! We can't beat a Hellion without the power of purification. Then we should just be glad we escaped it. And anyway, we have bigger problems. Hmm? We 
have to hurry and save that girl before something worse finds her. Is that a monolith? Sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. What's this? Whoa! What the... I'll be taking this. If you get too hung up on fiddling with it, we'll never get out of here. I'll give it back once we've returned safely. Uh, <laughs> if you say so. But it's still so far. Think we could jump? Only one way to find out. Well? 
Okay, maybe not. Hey, watch out! Don't scare me like that. Sorry about that. Well, we definitely can't make it from here. There should be a connecting point somewhere. Let's go back and see what we can find. I see. So that's the deal. Huh? Haven't figured it out? Y yeah, I have. Who would have thought that you could walk in mid-air here? Or that an invisible bridge would be here. Think it could support a person? Well, well. Aren't you sharp today? <laughs> For a change. Seems safe enough. Yeah. This bridge is incredible. How do you think it was made? I think this is beyond the capabilities of human technology. So, like, the bridge alone might date from the era of the gods? Possibly. But either way, they definitely had assistance, whether from Seraphim like me or someone else. They really didn't want anyone to reach the other side. The path ahead leads to Elysia. It stands to reason that they do what they can to protect the Pure Land. In the past, any pilgrims who showed up at the shrine probably thought the gap was simply uncrossable. Same as we did until just minutes ago. But good job picking up on that. Your intuition is always impressive. Oh yeah? For its rarity. There we go. I knew it was too good to be true. Maybe we should rethink this. Hey! Uh... Are you alright? Uh... Huh. <sighs> I was... I was in a forest, and then... <sighs> Looking for this? Yep, she's human, all right. Yeah. Glad you're okay. I'm sorry to have troubled you. And you are? Your name. Uh, oh. Right. My name. I'm Saray. Saray? Yep, nice to meet you. Well met. Is there anywhere one could rest around here? I'll need to make plans to get back to the capital. You're from the city? Well... Um... Hmm. Why don't you come to where I live? Saray, are you nuts? Are you sure that wouldn't be a problem? You barely know me. I can't just abandon someone in need. That's all. Haven't you noticed that she won't even volunteer her name? It's only natural to be cautious. Aren't you going to ask my name? Are you sure? Everyone has their reasons, but you don't look like a bad person to me. I cannot possibly thank you enough, Saray. <sighs> Gramps is gonna let us have it when we get back. I know. Yes? Nah, don't worry about it. Anyway, that's the way out. Let's get moving. I don't want to have to remind you, but keep your eyes on the girl. Okay, but too bad we didn't meet in better circumstances. 
<sighs> you really don't have a skeptical bone in your body. <sighs> we made it back in one piece. Wow, it's beautiful. Like a shrine out of myth. I half expect to see Seraphim wandering around. You really do call them Seraphim. Is that funny to you? Nope. Things which cannot be seen or explained, such as gods, spirits, or supernatural phenomena, are revered by the people as Seraphim. Right? A quote from the Celestial Record? Bingo. You've read it too? Yep. Wait, you as well? I used to read it all the time when I was a kid. It's a little ways from here to my village. Let's get moving. Okay. So, uh, is the Celestial Record a children's book? Well, I mean, you said you read it when you were a kid. Plenty of adults read it, too. I was probably just mature for my age. Oh, yeah? Huh. Well, figures. I mean, it is an amazing book. Yes. Well, looks like someone's enjoying himself. This is my village. Alicia. So it's not Camlon, but Alicia, then. Then the rumors were false after all. I'll go report this to Gramps. Guess we can't keep quiet about all this. Coming by afterwards? Yeah. Hey everyone! Got someone to introduce to you! This is my family, living here at the Shrine. Is this, uh, some kind of performance piece? No, uh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. You're an odd duck, you know that? I guess. That's my house. You go ahead and rest. I've got something to take care of. May I have a look around the village? Well, sure, but don't cause trouble. Of course not. I'll behave as if I were in a shrine to the Seraphim. Yeah, exactly. I'll try not to make any waves. <laughs> oh, man. I sure hope Miklio's chat with Gramps went over well. I'll let you hear the rest from Soray himself. I reckon I'll have to. You idiots! Hi, Gramps. I'm back. How could you bring a human into our domain?
Easy, Gramps. Didn't you say you'd listen to Soray's side of the story, too? That's just what I'm about to do. You know full well the rules, Soray. How could you break them like this? I'm sorry, Gramps, but I couldn't just leave her there. Her kind is sure to bring nothing but trouble to our domain. But I'm her kind too, you know. You were raised along with our kind, which nurtured in you the ability to perceive us and converse with us. Normal humans have no such capacity. You should understand that more than anyone else. Well, it is true. She doesn't appear to have any resonance. But Gramps, this is the first time Soray's ever met a fellow human. Perhaps. But if she can't see or hear the same things we do, she has no business in this realm. Ah. Uh. I have raised both of you as my own since you were but babes, all the while doing my best to protect this land. And for that I am grateful. And I did that because the time draws near when you will both serve to protect this shrine, just as all the others have done. Our priority is the peace of Elysia. Any intruders, no matter how harmless, must be cast out. Yes. Then it's time she left. Can we at least give her time to prepare for her departure? Hmm. Just make it quick. Thank you. Gramps. I know, I know, McLeo. He means well, in all things. And that's the very reason why I'm so worried for him. Hey. Hey, wow! Is this crest what I think it is? Yep. This is the mark of the shepherd. I knew it! The chosen one who communicates with the seraphim, controlling their incredible powers as if they were his own. The shepherd! <laughs> Sound like your kind of thing? Maybe. I always thought that Mankind's Savior would actually look a bit more imposing. Be silent, Seraph Beast! I shall not. Hmm. <laughs> Excavated relics aren't play toys. True. She certainly is taking her time. I'll see what's up. Enjoy yourself? I sure did. But it's weird. I felt like I was being watched the whole time. Uh, uh. Shall we eat? I'm sorry. I feel like I'm going to faint. Let's head to my place. Gosh, I hope we didn't worry him. Hmm? Oh, uh, nothing. Welcome in. Hey! Hm? So then, what's your hometown like? Well, I'm from the capital, Lady Lake, in the Kingdom of Highland. 
Lady Lake? Like in the Legend of the Sacred Blade? You've heard of it? It was in the Celestial Record. The legend says the Lady of the Lake guards the Sacred Blade, and the one who draws it becomes the Shepherd, right? Yes. It was a lively and bustling town, blessed with bountiful water, rich in festivals and fine drink. Wait, was? Well, it used to be. Things must be hard for folks in the world below. Below? The land that lies beneath the mountaintops. I've never left home before. You've always lived here by yourself? Sounds to me like you're the one who's had it rough. <laughs> oh, let me help you get ready for your return trip tomorrow. You need anything? Bread, rations, stuff like that? That'd be great. If you have any tools or a sleeping bag, it'd be great too. Gotcha. Well then, first we'll need to do some hunting. I'll be your guide tomorrow. Thank you so much for everything. Good morning. Good morning. Come on! Hurry it up, Mikleo. We ain't got time to mess around. Yeah, I'll leave in a moment. <sighs> Gramps gave me all kinds of things to take care of. I'm gonna be pretty swamped for a while. Bummer. Well, don't you worry about me, at least. So, Ray, Gramps only wants... Yeah, I know. Mikleo! Maybe later. Sure. Good morning. You sleep okay? Yeah, like a log. Been ages since I've done that. All right then, shall we? The prickle boars lurk to the left of the entry gate. It's an ideal hunting place. Got it. Creatures. They're goats. Goats? Are they usually this big? There's a prickle boar. So that's one, huh? Their meat is easy to preserve when smoked and super tasty. And the skin has all kinds of uses, too. I almost feel sorry for it. Want to leave? No, my spirit is prepared. Besides, I can't get this sort of experience back home. Okay. Here we go! Let's get him! No What's this? Hey, pretty smooth move. Thank you. You're rather capable yourself. That's that! Okay! Guess we need a few more. I don't see any around. You'll find them if you look. A monolith written in ancient tongue. I am ready. Ready? No escape. How's this? Let's get him. That's that.
Ready? We've hunted enough. So, now what shall we do? Don't worry. I'll teach you how to make jerky and bags and sleeping gear out of it. I am truly in your debt, Saray. Let's head home for the day. I don't think we've checked that monolith out yet. Where is it to Lady Lake? Let's see. I expect about two or three days. Really? I had no idea it was so close. But the forest at the base of the mountain is surprisingly easy to get lost in. Must be the power of Gramps' domain. Ray? Oh, did I wake you? Sorry about that. You're sure into that book, aren't you? I've read it countless times since my childhood. One day, I want to explore ruins all over the world. Everyone who's read the Celestial Records says that, and I'm no exception. But sadly, now is not the time for some jaunt around the world. For several years now, the world has been plunged into a nigh-incomprehensible state of chaos. Chaos? Mysterious illnesses, incessant storms, people bursting into flames. There are those that say, even the dead have begun to walk the earth again. Whoa, hang on. What are you talking about? You don't believe me? Or you think this is a joke? No, I... The situation is beyond grave. Huh? The chaos has caused abnormal climate changes all over the world. As a result, we are on the verge of enduring widespread crop death, famine, and starvation. And worst of all, are the rumors of governments planning to replenish their dwindling resources through war. It mustn't come to that. Can nothing be done? Who knows? There's nothing to hang on to but legends. Which is why you... No, never mind. I won't ask. I think I'm gonna just hit the hay here myself. Sleep well. Good morning. Good morning. You ready to get to work? We gotta make those rations and bags from the prickle boars we hunted yesterday. You got it. <laughs> Afraid it isn't exactly super fun, though. Well, let me know when you're ready to start. Ready? So, what do you need me to do? Sorry for putting you to work like this. Oh, I'm pretty used to it. With your help, I'll be able to leave tomorrow. Thanks so much. Yeah? Great. 
Well, better rest up for tomorrow. I ought to let Gramps know. Wish I'd asked her more about the world below. Hey, Gramps. She says she's leaving tomorrow. I see. We'll all be sure to see her off. After all, one must always be hospitable to one's guests. Thanks! I really owe you. Thank you so much. You gonna be okay by yourself? I cannot cause more trouble for you than I already have. I see. <sighs> you'll be fine. Just follow that map and you'll get through the forest with no problems. Oh, it's not that. I believe you. Alicia. Huh? That's my name. Alicia Difta. Alicia? You didn't even know who I was, and you helped me without asking anything in return. Whereas I thought only of myself, leaving you without even a name by which to call me. As a knight, I am ashamed. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. It's okay. I must confess something to you. Hmm? I know this sounds strange, but I believe that the Seraphim really do exist. The myths and legends that are preserved in the Celestial Record must be more than mere fairy tales. Yeah. This crisis that has befallen our world. I believe only the ones spoken of in the ancient legends can truly restore order. The Shepherd, you mean? You're not going to ridicule me? Everyone back in town does. Of course not. You're a real saint, you know that? The Sacred Blade Festival is soon to commence in Lady Lake. A trial will be held based on the legend of the Shepherd's Sword. A trial I think you might be interested in. Me? Time to go. But please, give it some serious thought when you have the time. How come? The shepherd I see in my mind when I read the legends. I have to say, he reminds me a lot of you. <sighs> What's this? Gramps asked me to go out and search the ruins and find some clues about that girl. I've been down there looking. So wait, this is Alicia's? This is the crest of Highland. I don't think this Alicia is any ordinary knight. I know this is difficult for you, but it really is for the best. Gramps? Hmm. Someone has infiltrated my domain. <laughs> Blast and damnation! Hide in your presence, are you, crafty bugger? Everyone, be warned! There is an intruder in our realm! Find them! They've concealed their presence, so chances are good it's a Hellion! Search with extreme caution! We'll go too. Very well. If it is a Hellion, quick measures must be taken. I'm counting on you. I have a hunch we'll find it around the forest. Good idea.
Jason! How odd. I didn't expect to find anything but the main course here. But now there's two more side dishes. What on earth is this thing? Is this the Hellion? This is not the place for one such as you. Leave at once. <laughs> Impudent brat. I can smell the fear wafting off of you, those tender arms trying to conceal their shivers. Saray! Mmm. Aren't you a succulent treat? What? Did I stutter? I'm saying I'm going to eat you! As if! I can take you! Prepare to meet your doom, Hellion! Talk, aren't you? Still haven't had enough yet? Be gone! <laughs> Mason! <laughs> he, he ate Mason! Is, is this what Hellions are capable of? Away with you, evil being! Or you want to take us all on at once? Hmm. I shouldn't be snacking anyway. Not when the main course is getting away. Mason. We can handle the rest. Gramps, that fox-looking thing. Was that really a Hellion? They can talk to us? Yes. That's the form of a human who has become a Hellion. Corrupted, essentially. Humans can become Hellions? Now, it's time you went back home and rest. We should. Come on, let's head back. Right. So, it begins anew. Hmm. What on earth did it come here to do? How odd. I didn't expect to find anything but the main course here. <sighs> Not when the main course is getting away. Wait a minute. Was it going after... her? They'll probably freak out with me gone suddenly. Sorry, everyone.
Okay. Oh? Whoa! Miklio! Why are you here? Thought I'd let you duck out of here. Well, I'm going to. Seriously? We can talk more while we travel. We don't have time. But from what the Foxman said, it's fair to assume that he's after Alicia. You picked up on that too, huh? Of course. Now, let's hurry. Hey! What? What's gotten into you all of a sudden? I'm just... really happy you came with me! I couldn't let you navigate the world of humans alone. Not as guileless as you are. I bet Gramps is mad, though. He was ready for it, in a way. He knew you'd leave someday. Hey! I'm just stepping out for a bit. I'll see him again. Gramps has always known that once you left, you'd live the rest of your days with humans. Is this from Gramps? We'll need money to get by in human society. He said to sell that if we're ever in a bind. Uh. And there's a message for you as well. Walk the path you believe in, and live your life to the fullest. And I know you will not go astray. That's what he said. Let's go. Incredible! By themselves, people are such frail things. That is why, in times of calamity, they pray for a ship to save them. <laughs> this is really it! This is our world! The era later known as the Age of Chaos gave birth to a new shepherd. This is his story. After we get through the forest, we should reach the lake. Then, we just have to head down the slope. Got it. But wait a minute. How do you know all this? It's not complicated. I've been collecting information for this very day. On your own? You never told me about it. I don't feel Gramps' domain anymore. That's because we've left the forest. 
Our adventure officially starts here. First off, we need to find Alicia and let her know she's being targeted. And then, we'll take down that fox guy! It's best we avoid confrontation with Hellions as much as possible. But... I want to avenge Mason just as much as you do. But we're just a Seraph and a human, neither of us with any power to purify malevolence. Never mind defeating him. Whether we could even drive him off by ourselves is iffy. And we can't rely on Gramps' assistance anymore. You're right, Mikleo. It'll attack once it gives chase. Ready? It's over! I can't believe we'd run into a hellion all of a sudden. What luck. Quite strange. I hope it's just a coincidence. Could it be I'm attracting them because they know I can see them? Who can say? It's too early to tell. Couldn't have been a coincidence. They're attracted to us somehow. Look, there's the lake. And there's a huge city! Let's go check it out! Let's do this! I'm counting on you all! Like I'm actually in another world. It's great to have a field trip and all, but try not to get us lost, please. <laughs> we'll be just fine. I got us a map. Oh, you mean the one that's in the celestial record? It's kind of old, though. I'll probably need to redraw parts of it as we go along. We won't be defeated. Ready? Strike! It's over! Hang on, everyone! Ready? No escape! Burn a Strike it! Get on! Strike! It's over! Ready? 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 Strike! It's over!
You okay, Mikleo? Some kind of trouble? Looks like it. The cart stopped. Feathers, a traveling caravan of merchants. I'm Agil, the captain. She's Rose. Nice to meet you. I'm Saray. Nice to meet you, too. You finally learned how not to be a creeper. Shut it. Oh, hey. So if you're a traveling caravan, where are you traveling to? <laughs> We're going all over the world. Wow. We're protected by a free trade treaty, meaning we have a free pass to pretty much go anywhere we please. Sure, we get asked to smuggle all sorts of crap, but for us, trust is first and foremost. Dishonorable trade is fine for dishonorable people, but we do things our own way. And we're damn proud of it. This must be the famed capitalism of humans. Sure seems that way. Yeah. We're planning to stay in Lady Lake for a while. If you need anything, just give us a holler. Yeah! We will. Thanks. Though they really ought to focus on their cart before drumming up business. <laughs> oh wow, that's some knife you got there. Think you could part with it for a thousand gold? Aw, too bad. Let me know if you change your mind. I heard Princess Alicia came through here when she got back to the capital. I would have loved to see the so-called Princess Knight for myself. Princess Alicia, huh? Phew. Sounds like she made it back safe. Glad to hear that Fox Freak didn't catch up to her. But still, to think that she was royalty. No kidding. A straight up princess? A princess, a knight, and she explores ruins on the side? How'd she wind up with that gig? Won't know until we ask her. That's true. Besides, Foxy Loxy might be in town waiting for a chance to get at her. Yeah, we've got to let her know. The entry paperwork? Sure, take care of it now, and I'll let you in just as soon as that cart's fixed. All right, I'll be right on it. <laughs> hey, everyone. Sorry about the hassle. Well, that was well-timed. Welcome to Lady Lake. like I can't believe it oh so this is how humans live don't they find it overwhelming wow gosh you'd think so just remember this isn't a sightseeing trip 
The real question is, do we try to find Alicia first or look for the Fox Man? So, let's have a look around town for now. Good call. Let's gather information. Hey, son, how about these duds? Made from real silk. My old lady will swap me for it, but they're yours for just 860 gold. Oh, is that cheap? Saray, behind him. Should we give it what for? And have everyone think you're attacking the street vendor? You want to tour the inside of a human jail cell? To everyone else, he looks just like an ordinary human. Oh yeah. Understand now, child, no matter how tough things get, stealing is stealing. Shut up, old man, you smell like farts. And stay down! Ugh. Can't even swing a fist right! Ugh. That's different. Indeed. We'd best not get involved. Problem? Oh, hey, mister, you smell like you'd be mighty tasty. Hey, let's get out of here. Something like this is right. He's 
here. No mistake, that's the Fox Man. After him! So Alicia really is the Fox Man's target. Looks like it. He probably retreated for now because of the commotion. thought that he would be this fast. The dog's still chasing him. We can't let him get away. Ah, it's safe. Looks like he cornered it. Are you ready? Of course. Your chicken hunting days are over, Fox. So, you're really that eager to die, are you? Stronger than I remember. When we fought him back in Elysia, he must have been weakened by Gramps' blessing. I'll burn you to cinders! Take that! <laughs> Miklio! <laughs> oh, I'm going to enjoy this. A fitting end for worms who dare to wriggle at a god! <sighs> boss No! I swear! I, I wasn't- Quiet. Who- Who are you? 
We won't warn you again. Be silent. Have you forgotten our code, Lunar? You're all out of second chances, understood? Go. The assassination order was a mistake. Princess Alicia will no longer be our target. You expect me to believe that? We have our honor. Stay. The princess's enemies are legion. For those who wish to remove her, assassination is but one option among many. You have bigger worries than who we are or what we do. I suggest you hurry to the pedestal where the sacred blade is kept. Why are you telling me this? Honor. So, I guess I should be thanking you for saving us. Hmm. <laughs> hey, are you alright? What? What in the world? Looks like we were saved by an assassin's guild. By a what? They were after Alicia by mistake or something. They took that fox guy away with them. But more than that, it looks like Alicia's not out of danger yet. Looks like? What's going on? Hey, I don't get it any more than you do. Let's just hurry to that pedestal. No entry. If you want to check out the festival, go out front. What gives? You're letting him through. Well, that's because I'm festival staff. That's right. Authorized personnel only. Everyone else, move along. But it's urgent. Can't you do anything? Afraid not. Do you need a hand? You look like you're in a bind. I bet you want to get at that pedestal now, don't you? Yes. Alicia could be... They don't need to know that. I mean, if you could help me out, it'd really make my day. Sure thing, but we'll need some cash. Cash? Yep. Remember the guard back there? He's not averse to a little grease on his palm, if you know what I mean. We can get you through. How much? Let's see... I think 1,000 gold ought to cover it. Hope you're okay with this, Gramps. Whoa! This is one swanky-ass pipe! This is easily worth over a thousand gold. You should probably get it appraised first. Forget it. I just need your help right now. Well, all right. Works for me. I know you're in a hurry. Let's go. Well, shall we? Yeah. This is the guy. You good? All right then. I'll be taking your sword. Let's have it. Well, that was easy. By the way, that pipe you gave me is worth way more than a thousand gold, no question. 
Be sure to come and see me again when you're done. I want to give you a fair deal. I appreciate it. Well then, we gotta get back to work. Thanks so much. Went through all that trouble, and we can't see the pedestal. Is that what you're thinking? <laughs> well, sorta. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Being invisible has its benefits. Seriously? Hey, Saray, come over here! What is it? Saray? Alicia! Is that you, Saray? Welcome! And who may this be? This is Saray. Ah, yes, the one who rescued our princess way out there in the ruins. Saray, this is Lady Maltran. She's been appointed as the committee leader for the festival this year. She is also the one who taught me the way of the spear. Nice to meet you. I'm Saray. It is a pleasure. By any chance, did you come here to attempt the trial of the blade? Not just that. To tell you the truth. What this mysterious organization has told you is true. There are indeed those who think less than favorably of me. But even so, I cannot live my life in fear of them. But... but Alicia... Thank you so much, Saray. I really appreciate your concern. Soon, the finale of the festival, the Flames of Purification, will begin. Please enjoy yourselves. So this is what states people deal with. She didn't even flinch. Oh, that's right. Check out the pedestal. Oh, right. If no one else can see her, does that mean she's a Seraph? You probably can't remove the sword unless you can speak with her, meaning no ordinary person can do it. Incredible! So that means the legends were true! Hey, say something to her. Me? Unless you want me looking like a total weirdo. But still... Ladies and gentlemen, my fellow citizens of Lady Lake. For the past several years, we have abstained from our beloved festival in light of the general state of the world. But this year, thanks to the grace and assistance of Our Lady Alicia, the Sacred Blade Festival can be held once more. We yet live in a time of crisis. Violent weather, geopolitical tensions, pestilence, famine, the list goes on. However, I believe that it is precisely times such as these that make our cultural traditions and celebrations all the more vital to maintain. Oh, wondrous Lady of the Lake! Show us your power! Oh 
merciful Lady of the Lake, hear our plea. Cleanse us of our sins and woes with your flames of purification. Citizens of Lady Lake, this jubilant festival shall be as a prayer to the heavens that we may know peace and prosperity. Some prayer, all right. This prayer of yours gonna give us our jobs back? The Council already seized the crops and weaponry trades for the state. They might as well declare war and get it over with. Hey, lady! You trying to kill us? This ain't nothing but the Council giving itself a pat on the back! Well, we're not gonna stand for it. Find someone else to lick your boots. Silence! Do not disturb the festival. Enough! Ha! Serves you right! This whole riot was a setup. Look at that guard! This must be the work of the Chancellor. I can't believe they'd involve the citizens they swore to protect in the power struggle. Are we really so corrupt? Alicia! Saray, get to safety! No! You mustn't give in to hostility! Such emotions will breed Hellion! <laughs> she turned into a Hellion! The evil in people's hearts gives rise to malevolence. And once it reaches a certain point... Lady of the Lake! Can't you do something? You have the power of purification, do you not? A spirit? And you can see me? That's not good. Nick Leo, put those flames out! The black flames are part of the Hellion itself. The most I can do is manage the regular ones. Okay. Saray, you really can see Seraphim Kirby. This isn't looking good. The Hellions are coming out of the woodwork. The power of purification is not my own. It is a power given to those who would draw the sacred blade and become my sword. Then I'll do it. What? Sorry. Do not be hasty! To become my sword is to serve as a vessel for me to dwell in and to assume the shepherd's burden. Blessed with the power of purification and abilities beyond human ken. Cursed to be scorned by others and wrought with despair. To protect this land from the Hellions means a constant stream of agonizing decisions. It is a lonely battle, the likes of which you can scarcely imagine. That's the burden of the Shepherd? And you want Saray to take all that on right here and now? It is not to be done lightly. May I ask you your name? Of course. I am Lila. Lila. My dream is to investigate ancient ruins all over the world. I believe that the legends of the past hold knowledge about how humans and Seraphim might one day live in harmony together. I must find a way to make that happen. To bring humans and Seraphim together again, as it was in the days of yore. If purifying the Hellions will save both humans and Seraphim, then... And it's the best chance I'll ever have to make that dream a reality. Are you really okay with this? Saray. That's why I shall become the shepherd. I offer myself to you as your vessel and shall bear your burden. I've waited long for this moment. For one who is pure of heart and free of corruption, a shining vessel to whom my words will reach. <laughs> Now, Saray, take up the sword! You got it!
that really you? Get back, Alicia. <laughs> hey! You'll be able to handle the Hellions, right? Yeah. Just take care of the rest of the flames. those slimes with my fire. Purify them with the shepherd's power. Got it! Wait, Be gone! Ready? No escape! Slow and smart! A worthy opponent! Be What? No! Saray! Are... are you really? Yep. I... am the Shepherd now. Calm yourselves at once! Chancellor Bartlow. Lady Alicia, we received word that there was a civil disturbance among the commoners. Indeed. However, it has already been quelled. By the appearance of the Shepherd. The Shepherd, you say? Citizens of Lady Lake, I hereby announce that this year's Sacred Blade Festival has come to a close. You heard him! Clear out at once! Please don't hold up for me! Milady, I should like to ask the cause of all this at a later time. Lady Maltran, your presence is also requested. The Shepherd of all things. <coughs> Now then, it is time for me to return to my place within you. Uh, yeah, I am the vessel after all. Now that's a creepy sight. What the... Saray? What's wrong? It's because I have entered his body. I'm afraid he'll have a high fever lasting about three full days. What? Why? Presumably the human body is reacting to the sudden presence of unknown powers inside of it. Those who make a pact with a Seraph usually wind up bedridden for a time. So that's what happens to one who becomes a vessel. I don't feel so good. Hey, are you alright? Not really. I think I'll take a nap for about three days. Saray! Well now, things are getting interesting.